Hello there, young people! Welcome back to Old Man Gaming! Today, we've got something special for all you angsty individuals out there! It's Square Enix's Life is Strange! Oh, wow. We're just jumping right into it, aren't we? Okay, I know nothing about this game, other than that people on the internet are going wild about it. Sure has some nice texture detail. Is that maybe your hair? Kinda looks like a helmet. That's okay. Where am I? What's happening? I would also like to know that. I think you may be lost, young lady. I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Oh, you're more lanky. There's a lighthouse. Oh, there's I'll be saving like you there. I hope. Please let me make it there. We're gonna get there. Don't you worry. Oh. Uh, maybe I, uh, maybe I jumped the gun in that texture comment. Everything's kind of looking like a bunch of polygons smacked together. Look! A hurricane! Yeah, I, uh, I don't think it's a very good idea to be on here. Uh, better stop exploring. We'll just get to the point. Uh, here we go. I think we got to. Oh, there it is! Cataracts! Can't see anything these days! Holy shit! <laughs> Watch your mouth, lady! That kind of sounded like a Super Saiyan bomb right up for a moment there! Was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, These I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. Pick them from from color medication. to cure skin. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Shit, look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. I think it looks neat. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. I don't like kids like you. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. And I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. And any one of you could do that to me. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Why? The thing's but adorable. I like it old school. Of their beauty or innocence. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Let's do it! I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. Shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Oh, yeah. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. You know, Sorry. I agree with I you. couldn't resist. That's an incredibly stupid the point word. remains that the portraiture has Tired always been a vital it. aspect of art and photography Never for as me using that long as it's been around. A portrait. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, I can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? Uh. Okay. I did know. But I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. 
Is there anybody here who knows their There's stuff? No Louis proud. Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Oh, now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. I do not Very good, like Victoria. You. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s. Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now. The first American self-portrait was done by Robert. If anybody else Why looked at not? this, what would they think? <laughs> let's, let's see what we got here. October is our favorite month. Halloween parties are overrated. Crashing a party is an easy way to get beat up. Uh, Blackwell Academy. Uh, Arcadia Bay. I guess we need to find out who Chloe is. Hey, look, a deer with a mustache. He's both a gentleman and a wild animal. I don't like cats. Mm. Okay, well, apparently you don't like the school. That's okay. Most people don't. Cornelius. You can find out all bag. about him in your text. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. <laughs> And hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Well, I'm not pretending not to see you. I just don't want to look at you. You're a grown man dressed like you're 16. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. <laughs> Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. Not I have to go over homework. No, no worries. Let's hang later. Sure. This looks like Adobe Photoshop. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. This look quite neat. Neon, neon view. Neon view. Neon view. Okay. Not Photoshop at all. Guess I was mistaken. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can no I talk to, to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Wow. I really don't like you. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Because it's not. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're old young, dude. the world is yours. I'm an old dude! Blah, right? What are you, 27? You do have don't give me that crap! You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's Maybe what we'll separates the your, artist um, from the amateur. Lip movement there. I'm pretty sure you're not actually talking to me. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. That's probably because she is. And what else is here? Mm. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Guess. Suppose you would know better. Hey, let me want to update your camera. Even old Grandpa here has got himself a fancy flip camera phone. I should have known. She'll have now. better equipment than Blackwell. 
Whoa! That's a lot of money for a camera. Hmm, great. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. What was that? You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you always Welcome to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. I'm not paying for it. She plays it so cute. Hey, look, it's I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Wow. Well, I guess it's one of these games. She's so fucking shy. She took selfies with a giant pen. Don't nod. Well, I could nod my head to this all day. To all of oh, you, American care. girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world. There's Hayden, you. another Vortex Club bro, but he's actually not an ass. Watching the world from the it looks like she's been gone for months. What happened to the word Chuck? What's a bro? I'll tell you what a bro is. Nothing! Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Doesn't look like a meltdown to me. Rachel Amber is a... Uh... Huh? Well, that's inappropriate. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I agree with this sentiment. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Probably. Get a little water here. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. I agree. Fuck it. Oh. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Um, I, don't, I, I don't remember okay, butterflies girl, being a part of that photo expression. Like this every day. Well, I see what they did. Yeah, you better stay there. Um, excuse me, I believe this is the ladies' room. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress, you, you're okay, bro, just count to three. Um. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. Okay. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now. Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. 
You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you put that? I know who you what are. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me. I don't think anyone will miss you. No. Oh, boy. Okay. Whoa. What the fuck? And it gets stranger. Alright, next time on Old Man Gaming, we're gonna find out what that was about. See you next time! Huh.